Chapter minus 31.13, Behind the Magic Kitchen, still written by Frank in blue ink. Our kitchen is called the Magic Kitchen because the food's so good. At the back of the Magic Kitchen is an old pantry. I call it the Magic Pantry and in there I have a big plasma screen where I play the time again game. I couldn't wait to show Ben and Sky. Wow, said Ben. It's massive. Had to be, I said. What else do you ask for at Christmas and birthdays? I just combined them for two years and got this. Next year I can ask for something new. What will you get then? asked Sky. The best bean bags, I said, with planets all over them and dragons and lightning. I'm asking for some too, said Minot. The game's getting so good, said Skye. I love the portal to Mareskamar. Dad's going to help us finish it, said Ben. He's so much better than me at drawing buildings. Plus, he's going to do a proper replica of the melting classroom, said Skye. Excellent, said Minnow. I handed out controllers and blue beanies and we went straight to the updated games Mareskamar to check it out. After all our drawing and programming, it was looking pretty good. I can't wait to go back for real, said Minnow. Same, said Skye. Do you think they'll invite us to study there? asked Ben. For real? Definitely, I said, racing my character into the indigo surf to play with a whale. How's the book going? asked Ben. It's getting so long, said Skye. You forget how much we crammed into a few days. Ben nodded, holding his controller up high to avoid a desgul. What are we going to call it, he asked. The time virus, said Skye. Not the filthy thieves, asked Ben. Minnow laughed. No way, she said. Our book's too good to have their names on it. How come it gets to have the filthy name of the time virus, I asked. Because it's a good name, said Skye. It lures you in, said Minnow with an evil grin. Fair enough, I said. You both have to check it, though, said Minnow. You were places we weren't, and we have to ask Blizzard to tell us a bit more about what he remembers. Sky nodded. There are some gaps, she said. When Blizzard was talking to Angel and Magal at Mareskamar, said Minnow, and Six told me a fair bit about what happened in the dungeon, said Sky but I can't exactly ask her anything now. Sky looked sad. Well, you could, I said, but you'd be questioning your inner six-year-old self. I kind of miss them, said Sky. Me too, said Ben. Same, said Minnow. Ben moved his character back to Lowood and started running through some tunnels to visit the dungeon where Sky had been held by the Desgul. This might jog your memory, said Ben, looking at Skye. Too soon, I asked, worried that Skye might get thrown back into her trauma. Skye looked pale. It's awful to think I was actually there, she said, but honestly, it feels like a million years ago, or like it was an old movie that I saw when I was little. It doesn't frighten me anymore. The thieves were such bullies, said Ben. Minnow frowned. Worse than bullies, she said. They were criminals. They are criminals, Ben agreed. Evil criminals. Minnow nodded. Skye did too, her eyes full of tears.